One of the things we know about building modern business intelligence or BI solutions is that every single one of them starts from raw data. But the challenge is that data could come from a lot of different places. It could come from databases. Maybe it comes from the internet, or it could come from a text file or a CSV file, or even an entire folder full of files. It could even come from email. There's lots of different sources for data, but the real truth is, is that every single one of them requires some kind of cleansing and transformation into a tabular format before we can actually expose Excel's most powerful tools. And when we're talking about Excel's most powerful tools, we're thinking about things like pivot tables and charts, and maybe even VLOOKUP statements and different stuff like that. The challenge that we have is that when you're interviewed for your job to work with Excel, people will often ask you about your reporting skills. They'll ask you, do you know how to do this? Do you know how to do that? But they don't really focus and spend a lot of time on the part that actually really, really impacts the majority of your solutions. And that's this area right here. And the reality is we actually spend about 80% of our time cleaning up data to get it ready to use for analysis and yet your interview is all about how you interpret data. It's kind of an interesting little uh, kind of flipped up way of looking at things that's a little bit problematic. What this course is about is trying to actually deal with that red box to give you some strategies to actually make that a little bit quicker. The challenge we have with data actually comes in in several different places. The first one is all about access. Can you even get to your data at all? And the reality is that sometimes database access is not even allowed inside the company. And there could be a couple of different reasons for that. Some of it could be around uh, different security policies. Some of it could be around confidentiality. Some of it could even be around classified information that you don't have uh, proper clearance to get to, right? So this is some of the stuff where you just can't get there. But there's also other times when it's impossible to get to the data because technically it can't be done. Maybe there's no driver to get into the database system. Sometimes it's even worse than that. The data we need doesn't even live in our systems at all. I used to actually work as the controller for a golf course and the number one driver for our business was weather. And yet none of our point of sale systems captured weather. We were all about capturing how many beers were sold, how many golf grounds were sold. And yet we needed this information which didn't live in our systems at all. Other problems, your data could be dirty, it could be poorly structured, it could be really badly shaped with lots of other garbage that's actually mixed into it. It could be complicated, maybe it's actually it's nested into pivoted data where you want it unpivoted, maybe it's structured in sets. And the other side is, and this is becoming a bigger problem all the time, it could be high volume. There's three V's in big data, volume, variety, and velocity, and all of these things where data is coming at us super, super quick in huge volumes. We need tools to actually make sense of the data and actually be able to work with it. And good old classic Excel, it's just not up to that task anymore. And that's why we now have Power Query. Power Query adds ETL to Excel. And if you're not familiar with this three-letter acronym, it stands for Extract, Transform, and load. So this is actually the process that you go through when you're building a business intelligence solution. You grab data from somewhere, you clean it up, transform it a little bit, and then you load it into a worksheet so that you can actually work with it. And Power Query actually allows us to make this job a little bit easier. Where can we get our data from? Well, we can get it from places like files. We can get it from databases. We can pull data from the web from a Microsoft Exchange email server. We can even pull data from other queries. And this is far from an exhaustive list. What does transform mean to us? It means the things that you're used to doing with your data. It's cleaning it. It's reshaping it. It's removing irrelevant data. It's merging things horizontally like VLOOKUP. It's appending things like copy and pasting stacking tables into big long tables. And it's even generating new data that we actually need. These are all things that Power Query can help us do and automate the task. Where can we load it to? We can load it to Excel tables. That's the standard default. If you're working with things like Power Pivot, you can load directly into Power Pivot's data model. And you can also create your query so that it's preloaded and ready to be called when needed, landing it in what we call a connection. The reality of this is that this gives us some new tools to work with data. We know that we've got these lumps of data on the left and we know we need the table on the right. And in the past, this was always a challenge in Excel. 
we now have a rich array of information tools in one place to be able to go and transform our data into the format that we need. But we've got one more thing too. We now have one click refresh and this is huge because we can actually invest our time in building a scenario that we need and then when we're done we click one button to refresh it next month so it just happens all over again for us saving us a ton of time and my friends that is why Power Query is amazing and definitely leads to happy analysts at the end of the day.